welcome to Tuesday, May 2nd, Select Meeting. I would like to rise and see what I pledge allegiance to the flag and to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like to approve uh, the warrants. I, want, I would like to ratify the payroll warrant for 425.17, and I would entertain motion. Uh, so moved. Okay, no second. Yep. All in favor? Aye. Okay, and then acknowledge uh, the report from the EMS monthly report of April 2017. I'd like to ratify that. I'd make that motion. Okay, and then all in favor? Oh, second. Oh, all um, second. All in favor? Aye. aye. Okay. All right. We have announcements. The Mor Memorial Day Parade will take place Monday, June 29th. May 29th. Yeah, that's what I said. You, you said June. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. June all right. The all citizens, veterans, first responders, scouts, students, and more are invited to join in a proper observance of the day. Parade starts at 10 a.m. at the Brookfield Elementary School, continues to the Brookfield Cemetery at 10.30 and to the town common memorial square at 1130. In case of rain, assembly will be at the Brookfield Elementary School cafeteria. A reminder, the annual town meeting will be held at 7 p.m. Friday, June 9th at the Brookfield Elementary School. A special town meeting will be held to proceed the annual town meeting at 6.30 p.m. The deadline to submit articles for both the annual and the special is 3 p.m. Friday, May 5th. Okay, do we have anybody here for public access? I don't see anyone here. Okay, so we'll go on. Our first start on, on the agenda is to she, she the board. She left yesterday, so. And I'd like to make a motion that, Linda, you carry on in your role as chairperson. Okay, thank you. I'll accept that. All right, so okay. that's a second. That's a second. And All in favor? Aye. Aye. And I would like to make a motion that we make you the co-chair. And uh, I'd like a second on that. Yeah, so moved. And uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And then seeing that Ms. Coughlin is not with us, so we will make a motion to have her be court to the board so That's what happens when you don't show yeah. up. Anyway, I'll, I'll make that motion. And I will second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Well, the first thing on our agenda, we're supposed to have an executive session, but the chief isn't here. That's the 10-15. So okay, so why don't we move on then to appointments. Appointments. Okay, move on. Okay, move that All right. Okay. Um, okay. okay, we have uh, one here. We can probably vote on, vote on them all at one time. Okay, we have one for a uh, member of the Recreation Committee, Ian Nugent, with a term to expire June 30th, 2021. Yeah, keep going. Then we also have one for the Historical Commission for Emory Manning, and his term will expire June 30th, 2021. And we have another one. That's that goes to the other I would like to... Um, yeah. I'll make that motion. Yeah. Okay, the motion. And I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. And then you can sign it. Yeah, I'll sign it. Now we have um, res resignation. Um, to accept resignation with regret. Uh, from his name is uh, Officer Dan Dan Joyce J O B S T from the Brookfield Police Department, and uh, he has accepted a full-time position with the Worcester Police Department. And we wish him well in the law enforcement career, and we'll have Karen send him out a letter of appreciation. I'll make that more. I'll make that more. Okay, next on our agenda. Okay, we want to um, rescind the, um, the procedures and policies. Right. And the reason I had brought that up was because I had talked to um, Herb last week about it, and he said it's going to cost them $10,000 or better, and they just don't have the money right now. And I think 
fire department needs to be checked, and I think they all need new helmets over there, and that's going to fall under it, too. So I guess they're going to, um, what they're going to do is uh, bring this before the advisory board and then put an article on it for town meeting. So if town meeting accepts it, then we can go back and uh, pass the policy. Yep. So I would like to make a... Um, to rescind, to rescind the, uh, the procedures. Yeah, and talk to the town meeting. Town meeting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I made that motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then we have some requests from QQLA. Um, they want to uh, approve from the QQLA. They want to use uh, South Pond Beach on uh, for a summer picnic on May 27th from 10 a.m. to 1, and a boat parade from July 2nd, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And I would like to entertain a motion for that. So moved. Okay, I will second that. All in favor? Aye. Right. Okay, that's all. Some more of the special. Okay, these are more of the ones for uh, to use Quaybot Pond. Special use permits. Special use permits. Okay. You want me to do it? Yeah, we'll do them all together. Okay, this one is the one. Where's the back? Oh, this is from the um, Lake Association, Quaybot Lake Association. That's what this one's for. Okay, and it's for a canoe and kayak. And that is going to be. Uh, September 9, oh. 2017. Yep. Okay. Okay, and that's, they will do them all together. So this is, this is another one for South Pond. Also, this is for, oh, you've got two of them in here, Terrence. The same thing? Oh, okay. Oh, is, it okay. Two, is it for two different ponds? So, oh, South Pond and um, Quaybot. Yep. Yeah, okay. I'd like to entertain a motion to accept these. So moved. Okay, I'll second it. Any discussion? All in yeah. favor? Uh, Aye. Do want to sign on? We should be seeing some more of these kinds of yeah. uh, kayak uh, journeys and whatnot because the Blue Trail folks are going to have something uh, okay. later this summer. Okay. week and they were able to purchase some new cabinets so we have two three draw cat file cabinets they're non locking but we'd like to move them into surplus at the town hall so if anybody needs them you know they can just let Karen know and you know they can have them I'll make that motion um, second that motion no discussion all in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, just uh, on that point, we're talking about moving some other file cabinets and the like as a part of this to kind of uh, free up some room mm -hmm. and whatnot. Okay. So I think it's all moving in the positive direction. Yeah, it direction. is. I, I think it is too, and it's neatening, neatening up. It looks very nice now when you walk in here in the hallway. Yeah. The chief is here, by the way. Oh, the chief? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Chief Blanchard, would you like to come in? Okay. 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 to declare that at 10 15 a.m. we are no it's a little reason that's about 10 10 past 10 that we are going going to move into executive session to conduct strategy sessions in preparation of negotiations with non-union personnel or to conduct collective bargaining sessions or contract negotiations with non-union personnel. Uh, 
I'll make a motion. You make a motion, and I'll second it. Uh, Lincoln, I. Say right. Okay, and then we'll reopen to finish. Uh, after that, we'll reopen to finish the regular meeting. Okay, wait. Go. Uh, set. Okay, our next uh, agenda item is to authorize payment for the first phase of the campground prop. I don't think we have to do anything other than uh, what I would note, Linda, okay. is that we did vote, the Board of Selectmen voted to authorize based on an agreement uh, with Mass Historical that they agree that we can pay the invoice. Um, and there was a separate meeting, and, and yeah, I know. Ka Karen's now gotten. Yeah, Carol Plum, they got together on a historical commission last uh, week on April 27th. So if, if Karen can document that we re reviewed this as a part of these minutes, that'll authorize me to submit the warrant for the payment of the first phase. And the first phase was uh, $4,524. Yep, and uh, we, we are actually having a conference call on Thursday okay. with Mass Historical okay. as a note to everyone that the work has in fact gotten, mm -hmm. gotten started right. as of yesterday. They were doing the grids yesterday and we'll be continuing through this week as long as the weather holds for us. And so that's all good news that it's progressing. Um, and uh, funny story, funny ant uh, antidote is one of the neighbors saw the folks busy over there mm -hmm. and called me or suggested that something bad was happening. I called the chief. The chief went down to find the historical, uh, the archaeologist hard at work. So everything worked out. Okay. So I don't think we really have to take a vote on no, that. No, I don't think so. I think we pretty much voted on last week. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, and having Carol committee yeah. voted. We're good. And they put the, in their offer, they have 2016, sure, Good, uh, good. Okay, the next you. thing is um, talk about hiring a temporary financial clerk. Yes. Uh, I have talked to, I, I don't know, have you talked to Holly? I've talked you? to Holly, yes. Yeah. And, and, and I did too, and she thinks it would be good to have somebody for 10 to 15 hours, because if we go to 20 hours, a week when we have to pay them uh, benefits. Well, I think we just need the extra support yeah. now that we've, yeah. we've got an illness yeah. and we're, and we're doing Holly, our best. Holly said she would go up to 50. And we should probably, and probably what we should pay them, Holly had suggested, would be $16, per, $16 an hour. So we have to put this out of here. Yes. So we'll, uh, we must have a job description for We do, financial okay. job, yeah. So why don't you put it out in the paper and I don't yeah. we just want to run it for a week or two weeks? I took a week, I think, okay. we need the, I think we need the help. Yeah, so we'll just run for a week and see if we have anybody apply. Okay. And then we'll get them in and you know, we'll make our decision when we want to. Yeah, I would entertain a I'll motion. I'll provide you that motion. Okay, I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And then the other here, we have to sign the contract for the Rice Connor Road Culver Engineering Study. Yes. Okay. You're the contractor. Yeah. Oh, do I have a vote to sign this? Contract? Yes, you do. No. Aye. No, between Dunbrook being approved and this now, we're moving forward. Okay, Dunbrook has been all approved. Would that be, uh, I know her to talk to me about that last week. So we have, um, like that's all been approved, and now we can go to the tour. That's where we've got to be. All right. Oh, let me grab that one because I'm going to run and back. And there's another paper. Did you get the other paperwork in Chapter 90 for the stand? Yeah. This under is under your phone. You can get it later. Chapter 90? Yeah, that Steve had signed a couple of... Uh, What's that here? Oh, yeah, sure. Sure. Get it back. Get it back. Then I'll take those back to Cindy. Oh, okay. And then we have... All right. Then, Ms. David Holcraft, he arranged for a representative from the staircase company to speak at the 5 9 meeting. Yes. Yes. And uh, he, this is something that we want to consider doing. We will have. I, I think the presentation is important. Yes. And then Bill Simpson is open to the idea, and he said it would be just a temporary fix until the elevator is installed. And it would require a variance from the architect's access board, which he thinks can get out and even done. 
Okay, maybe we can put this on, on the agenda for the uh, article from a special uh, annual town meeting. Yes, and, and if I wanted if we want to digress for just a moment as far as the community compact yeah. we have money set aside to do a grant that, that to, to service a grant for uh, an ADA study of all town buildings and this would be a part of that activity I would think and so to that point um, I sent Karen a note yesterday I, I was at CMRPC yesterday mm -hmm. for totally other but Andrew was there and mm -hmm. so we just had a hallway conversation where there actually is grant monies to be able to help us between our community compact and additional money what what Andrew was suggesting is the total cost of the study would be the ADA study that we need yeah. is about thirty three thirty four thousand dollars to be high on the list yeah. you'd want to be uh, to do some matching money yeah. to to the tune of 20 percent or some some okay. number and what I'm thinking is you might take the compact money, a portion of the compact yeah. money, to match the other grant monies so that you might, and it, his thought was if it's 30 something, that if you put 10 of the compact money in, you'd get a $30,000 study done for basically no cost to the town. So it's something we need to think about and work on. Yeah. So how much money now they give us all together? Was it 15,000? 15, 15 for each. 15, oh, yeah. 15 for each? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And to that point, if you digress a little further, okay. um, CMRPC is going out to contract to hire a, a HR resource in their offices. Mm -hmm. That HR resource it could be, we could use some of that HR money to have, have them work on the employee handbook if that was needed, the classification mm -hmm. activity, or a 24-7 issues person, mm -hmm. uh, HR issues issue to be supported. So, Again, they're going out to quote, they'll be coming back to the towns to see what the towns are interested in, but that also might be a way to use some of that money effectively. Okay. 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 So, I got one other thing. Okay. And that would be the follow-on harassment training that I would suggest that I, I offered to do a follow-up training using the presentation mm -hmm. of KMP so that we don't have to bring the lawyer back yeah. again. And I'm suggesting the evening of uh, May 24th, it's a Wednesday, it's kind of like at the end of the month of mm -hmm. May. And after that, to especially the uh, department, uh, not department, the committee chairs yeah. to have them yeah. attend. Yeah, that's a good idea. Right. Time, yeah. So I'm thinking 6.30. Okay. Yeah, six, six o'clock is hard for people, and so 6.30. Yeah, so then we get them all in here. Okay, so that's a Wednesday night? Yes. Oh, you want me to send out to department heads? And Would you? Heads? Sure. Yeah, great. Thank you. Okay. And here, under other, uh, we've got, we'll get notification from the Attorney General's office um, that the open meeting violation claim that was filed on 218-17 by Peter Martel has been closed. Yeah. Oh, speaking of things related to the fire chief, um, I've had recommended to him, I've reviewed the uh, follow-on audit mm -hmm. information, and he will be corresponding with you or with the chair yeah. okay. as far as the actions that have been taken to fulfill on okay. the audit. Do we have that? Up we have it on the agenda, yeah, but he's going to, I recommended that he send uh, the Board of Selectmen a, uh, an, an, update, an update, which is basically what actions yeah. he took. Okay. All constructive. Now, I just thought of something else I wanted to bring up on the book. I'll take a deep breath. I just had it on my mind. I don't know. I'm having a senior moment. Meanwhile, correspondence, I think you have a couple. So I think, pretty, I think that's pretty much it. Now, what, do you no. have anything on the other that you wanted to bring up? No, I think I covered them. It was the ADA oh. grant, HR, Oh, and then we and also harassment. have some more some chatter. More. Under, under correspondence. Oh, I yeah. thought the Steve had already read No, that's a new one. Oh, that's, that's a new one. Oh, it's another one yeah. from them. Okay. What's this, Charlie? Okay. On May 15, 2017, the following SD and HD channels will be made available on Spectrum Expanded Basis NPP Select TV. It will be BBC America, IFC, Sundance, and Wii TV. And if there's any questions, they can be reached at 774-243-9735 or via email at anna.lucy, L-U-C-E-Y, at charter.com. 
Oh, I guess that's... And then the Mass Dot. Oh, Mass Dot, yeah, too. It's just a um, bridge inspection report. Okay. You want me to read this all? I yeah. think we just take it under advisement. Play Buck Street, done. Yeah, we'll just take that under advisement. So that's the bridge. It's uh, perform the inspection of it. Then the highway department has a copy of it also. Okay. This was done by... Uh, Mohammed. 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 It's a bridge inspection. He says that um, they have the highway division performs the inspection of municipally owned bridges and have a clear span of 20 feet or greater. These bridges are scheduled to be inspected every two years. For your records, there's a copy of the recent bridge inspection fee report of the referred municipality owned bridge. Repairs, rehab, and construction of any bridges to address the deficiency reported is the owner and custodian's responsibility. And it says chapter 90 funds will be used for these purposes. Yep. That's the math stuff. And then they did some pictures, I guess, back here. So everything is fine. It's kind of cool. So that's good. We'll did you want to now. sign that wage authorization for the um, for the financial clerk? I had it in there in case you wanted to sign it because I talked to Holly from the personnel. And even though there's no name on it, you could, if you guys want to sign it to yeah, the And I think, I think if, if you're doing the financial clerk work, I think that $16 is a fair wage. Oh, yes. Consistent with what we've done. And then I think we also have to think about maybe even um, increasing the salaries of the sort of municipal clerks also. Because right now we're paying, what is it, Karen? 1349 1339 yeah, And I think we better think about really going up on those a little bit, too. It's kind of a low salary we're paying. Well, it, it kind of forces us to the wage classification stuff. Yeah. We, we, we exactly. really have to jump yeah, into we that. We have to jump into that. Yep. That's the municipal clerk, the 1339 financial clerk does make No, oh, yeah, no, the, yeah, the municipal clerk that works around here. I think we just have to up them a little bit, too. Okay, and you wanted to bring I wanted to share this chart that I, okay. I've been helping Brenda with, and I think it's important. In fact, I'll show it to the camera so that uh, um, Sharon can home in on it. Mm -hmm. So there, there had been questions with respect to what monthly receipts we were receiving mm -hmm. for taxes. And so Brenda had done some work as far as gathering historical okay. information. And we had talked about how to uh, how to display that. Okay. And, and what I was suggesting, and I had suggested in an open meeting, that uh, there be a, a, a chart of cumulative gross receipts mm -hmm. from taxes. And so Brenda gave me the data and I provided a, a, a chart. <clears throat> and again, if you could hone in, Sharon, I don't know if you can see that. Yes, uh, hold it steady, please. I saw and, a copy uh, of that yesterday. Okay, um, yeah, I'll fill the screen with it. Okay, thanks. Yes. All right, so what, what I'd like to explain is how I, how I came up with the chart. Because I think it's important as we move into next yes. the next selectman's meeting mm -hmm. where we're going to be talking about cut meeting and ta uh, and taxes and, and where we are. Yeah. What this chart shows is that over fiscal 15 and fiscal 16, things pretty much shadowed year over year. There was a 3.3 percent increase from FY15 to FY16, so a basically a hundred thousand dollar difference. What you now see, and again, we've been seeing the economy. I don't know if anybody has taken a ride back to, to Charlton, the back way from Dunbar Bridge. Oh, yeah. And, and where people are coming from. Oh, yeah. But if you take that road today, there's like eight housing starts on that roadway. Oh, and it's no, coming, I, that's it, the way I go in, yeah. It's coming towards us. And, and it's the same thing on, I don't know if you notice, even on New Boston Road. They're putting up all, on the side of that, there's all new homes going up too. So we're seeing, and again, yeah. we've got nine starts yeah. in town. Yeah. Well, those nine starts are starting to show yeah. An activity where, uh, again, yeah. we we don't know exactly where we'll be for the next three months. But if I used and what I did for this chart, the purposes of this chart, I used the same escalation of the last two years to say that now the third year, yeah. FY17, would actually uh, be a similar track. We could be to the tune of a quarter of a million yeah. dollars ahead over last year. 
Not to say that we're going to go spend money. money. Where what I'm suggesting is we talk seriously about taking some of that money to reduce the tax rate. Yes. Because we've heard that a number of times. If those numbers are real, mm -hmm. then we need to really seriously consider that. And then I think what we have to do too is have the assessors, because we've always talked about you know taking money to reduce the tax rate. And I don't know if Al could do with up some kind of a chart that would show exactly how much money we would have to take, you know. Um, to take the percentage off the tax rate, you do up like a, a chart or something. I'll ask him. Yeah, ask him if you can do something up like that. Yeah, I, I and will do that. Show how much money we take, say, even if we took, I don't know, a dollar or something off of it, do some different charts. I wasn't thinking of it that way, but I was thinking because of using at least yeah. half of this money to do that. But, but see, that's what a lot of the people will always ask, just how much this money that we apply towards the tax rate and what, how much percentage is it going to bring it down. Okay. That's the question that they've always asked. I will asked. ask Al for, next me for the next meeting. Mm -hmm. I know what I wanted to bring up on the other Yep, Can that's we, me. Do you want to leave our meetings at 6 o'clock? I, quite honestly, I think 6.30. Or so, again, we run the church meetings at seven. It, it goes a little later. So, because it goes later, seven is a hard thing. If we could compromise at six thirty, I think that that would be a win-win. I think it would be too, but I, mean, I don't want it to go any later. I don't. No. I don't want to see it see us going until nine thirty, ten o'clock at night. No, no. Well, I and mean, we could we could also do the flip side of that yeah. to say that we don't go after nine o'clock no, no, unless we have a vote that we're going to yeah. go on. Yeah, we could move it to 6 30. I think 6 30 would be a good time to start coming in. And then if we had to come in and do an executive session, I think 6 Then 6 to 6 30. Sure. 6 to 6 30. Okay. So I'll make a motion. I'll, well, I'll make the motion and. And I'll second it. Then we, we move at 6 30. 30. Yep. Favor? Aye. Aye. 6 30. All in favor? Aye. What about the May 9th? Would you want to leave that at 6? It's already been posted. Oh. And 23 is been posted too. Well, why don't we make, why do we post leave that at 6? Because we're, we're getting together with the advisory board to go over all okay. of the articles. So we'll leave that one at 6. May 23rd, do you want me to change to 6 30? Yeah, change yes, from May 23rd to 6 30. And uh, also, it's the. Um, as articles start coming in, have you had any come in as of yet? A couple. I have a petition and I have articles from the uh, Howard Department. That's it. That's all I have to say. Okay, so if you wanted to maybe start, you know, you could give us a copy, we can review yeah, them yeah. and probably give the advisory board some copies so we can yeah, know what's what going on instead of that night. Excellent. That's good. So I think that's about it. So I'd like to entertain the motion. I'll give turn. you that motion. And I'll make the second and, uh, second and all in favor say that. Time to go try. Back to work.